know if this will come back okay so we're supposed to be like on teaching you the redo of the pop it so um or not pop it so there are many different ways you can do this and the cool thing about this version is that you can make you can either make a bunch of them with one sheet paper and then or you can make a few of a certain small type or a bunch of them and put them together and i'll show you what i mean by that so you, you, you basically the module i'll show you you can start with a 16 by 16 grid for the for the full one and you always make like i'm not sure i told you this but I, you can always make a bigger one with this different size grid and this will make a the 16 by 16 grid will make a four by four pop it sorry two by yeah, four by four. And you might, you might be thinking what the tutorial oh, only makes a two by two, and I'll show you what I mean by that in a sec. So, what you're gonna do now is you're gonna fold this so that there's two, so you're basically gonna make a crimp so that there's two on the edge, the key on, in the other direction. Now, what you're gonna do is you're gonna fold this here and create a crimp to go in the other direction, looking like that. And repeat right over here. Now you're gonna repeat in the other direction. So, one sec. But if you have multiple small sheets of paper and don't have a big sheet of paper, I'd recommend doing this method. Now, like I said, you can always make a bigger one, but I prefer doing this because it's a lot easier, trust me. Okay, so now what you're gonna do is you're gonna open it up and carefully pull each part out. And you're gonna kind of do, kind of making it 3D, it's hard to explain, but basically I'll show you the best I can. As I do all of my videos, I try my best. That's all I can do, am I right? But um, if you, um, if you want this, if you think this pop fit should be best pop, or you're going to pop it on YouTube or not, whether it, what you like it or not, hit the like, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. If once I hit 40 subscribers, I'll make a part two on the tutorial, the mystery tutorial I was, gonna, I was making my 30 subscriber special. If we hit 50 subscribers, well, sorry, when we hit 50 subscribers, I want to have an excited mindset. Um, what we'll do is I'll have a special tutorial, which I haven't decided yet or have i you'll never know until we hit 50 subscribers so subscribe hit the like button comment down below hope you're having a great day so let's go back to the tutorial basically i make these squares that pop up that it pop it pop up anyways um that was an awful joke and these are quite popular please i should probably stop paper whisper please stop mm -hmm. tell me that in the comments I wanted to give a shout out to Slice Bread for being a huge contributor on this on my videos. He's commented three times, sorry, he's commented once and made three live chat messages. I'm very happy with him or her, whoever it is. Hope you're having a great day, Slice Bread. Anyways, thank and thank you for being a uh, thank you for being a good friend of Paper Whisperer online. Anyways, so now we're gonna um we're gonna keep going with the tutorial. And finish it up. So you can now pretty much flatten it. By the way, make sure you go subscribe to Slice Bread. He's or she. I haven't seen their videos if they have any, but um, they seem like a very nice person, and they seem to really like my videos. So go subscribe to them. So now, what we're gonna do. And keep on going with this and to help it you can pinch below like this and repeat again
like this. We almost have it completely collapsed. Now all you have to do is just kind of shape it. It's hard to explain. But basically, well, I'll show you that in a sec when we finish it staying together. Oh well. So now we have our collapsed bit. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna lock it in place by pinching the bottom edges. Now it's not really gonna lock in place, it's kind of the unfortunate thing about it, but here comes the fun part. It's a three foot part fidget. The first thing it is, is you twist it, twist it, wait for it. Twist it, one sec. Oops. Since you have to take some time to twist it since it's the first time. Okay, so it's gonna twist and take some practice. Mm -hmm. Oh well. Let's try that again. So now what I'd recommend doing is you can always you're gonna push it down to collapse it. This is the first part of it. You can pull it back up and collapse it. That's the nice thing. Pretty cool, right? It's a collapsible pocket that can stay in your pocket. I don't know, that was an interesting rhyme, I guess. I don't know what to call it. Mm -hmm. And we're going to do that with all of them. So like I said, it's collapsible. And I'll show you the, the twist part in a sec if it works on me. Mm hmm. So now, you can try the twist, which is basically really just twisting it. Aha, gotcha. So basically, you can twist it like that. I'll show you again. Look. Here, I'll show it to the camera the best I can. You can twist it in either direction, by the way. It's really nice, honestly. have to twist though. I'm gonna be rotational enough. It depends how strong your paper is. Now if you push your finger under and pop it back up, get it, pop it. Anyways, enough of the jokes. Paper is over. Okay, so now I'm gonna bring pop it back up. First we're gonna but first before you bring it back to 3D life to freedom or whatever. <sighs> Hit the like button and subscribe if you want me to stop making jokes. <laughs> and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna fold the corners to the middle. on all of them. Oh dear. We're gonna do it on all four, on all four corners of the corners, you get the point. All four poppet faces, and all four of these corners on the poppet faces. It's gonna look like that. Oh, I'm recording! I'm almost done! I should have told you. Sorry, I was recording. Um, my dad called me one sec, so I'll be done soon. So now we're gonna unfold it, and now we're gonna bring it back to 3D. Wait for it. You're gonna you're gonna find this pretty cool. So now, what we're gonna do? I'd recommend not making this small though. We're gonna push it back to life, make it 3D again. And now, when you have that poppet, you can push the corners in and out as the poppet. Pretty cool, right? And that's what I mean by a 4x4 poppet. 16 poppets from a 16x16 16 16 grid. Nice, right? Well, 
that's really it. And if you want to make more of them, you can connect them through these slots. I hope you had a great day and enjoyed the tutorial. Bye. Have a great day. Bye.